It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Listen, Trump's platform going rip, though. Bro, you know who can't wait for Trump's platform? Candace Owens. <laughs> Yo, not only Candace Owens, but all these media companies that are tanking because Trump's mm -hmm. not around for them to rally against. Yeah. CNN down 45%. Oh, MSNBC yeah. down 26%. Everybody, I think Fox News is also down. Like everybody is down in a major way because they don't have Trump to rally against. Pretty really interesting. It's no threat. It's no threat, shows. It's no threat. Yeah. It's no threat. Nothing yeah. brings people together like a threat. You know what I mean? It's a reason why, you know, it, when it bleeds, it leads. You mm. know what I'm saying? The news had a, a threat every single day. Literally. <laughs> no, literally every single waking moment of the day, it was going to be a tweet. Stop. It was going to be a... And, and, and it's so funny because I hear all of these broadcasters say things like, oh, it feels so good to, you know, not wake up in a world where you got to worry about what the president is tweeting. Lies. You're lying. You're lying. You care. They need that. You care. Mm -hmm. You care. You absolutely positively care. And, and, and what's crazy is, you know, watching the hypocrisy of this administration, especially in regards to what's going on currently at the border mm -hmm. you know what i mean if 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 one of you news networks just one of y'all msnbc cnn fox if you show just a little bit of objectivity just a little bit if you were able to say fuck a party fuck what an ideology is just call it right down the middle and talk about the hypocrisy that it's going on right now in regards to the border and how Biden is handling it and how people gave Trump hell. Or even if you just simply said, hey, man, you know, hate to say it, but I think Trump handled things a little bit better at the border. Mm. Eh. What? I don't know. What is happening at the border? I don't understand. Well, right now it's this whole thing where it's an influx of people coming, which you had to expect was going to happen because, you know, Joe Biden said during the debates that they they welcome you're you're basically you're all welcome you know and we're talking you know, about think, canadians no <laughs> this is the the mexican border crazy oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the, the u.s mexico really, border really crisis built the, the wall i don't think they built it the way trump wanted them to build it but they did build some of it and i mean people are basically saying that the conditions at the border are the same you know they're they're they're, they're using different language right like you know trump separated families um Trump separated families, but I mean, Biden is, I would say he's separating families too, but they're saying that it's unaccompanied minors. You know what I mean? So they're sending other people back and keeping the unaccompanied minors. They gave $86 million to ICE to create these hotel-like conditions for the unaccompanied minors to be in. I'm just trying to figure out what are they doing? What are they going to do with these kids? Why, like, do they they need, gonna, are, why do they need hotels? Like, do we put our, it's illegal Okay, unless you are unless you have like proof of asylum or something like that, it's illegal to to cross the border, right? You need yeah. that's not a legal thing to do. You're breaking the law. It's just weird that we would show more grace to people from other countries that are breaking the law here than we would show to Americans that break the law. Like I think if, if you're if you're speeding, for example, right? They don't take you and put you in a hotel, right? They yeah. put you in jail. Like we put our own people in jail for things all the time. Now I'm not talking about people who are, you know, seeking asylum because they're targeted by these cartels or blah, blah, blah. I'm just talking to the person mm -hmm. who's obviously trying to come to America illegally and work in America. I don't understand why he has to be playing in a hotel. I don't know, man. I think it's messed wow. up that you all of a sudden can pull $86 million, you know, to, 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 to give the ice to create these hotel like environments, but you got, homeless veterans on the streets of America. Same. You got, home, LA, you got yeah, homeless same. veterans holding up cardboard signs that have actually fought for this country that would love to get some, get some room and board. I've been saying forever, veterans that went to fight for this country should get free room and board. Yep. They should get a stipend every month. They shouldn't have to pay no bills. They should yep. get free health care, the yep. best health care too. They should get access to all of that. Like There's no reason for somebody that fought for this country sitting somewhere with no legs holding up a sign begging for change you know yep. what i mean but you got 86 million dollars to give to ice to build hotel like conditions for you know immigrants for, like god, people god, who are god, bless, god bless breaking the law like they know that it's <clears throat> breaking the law 
listen, God bless those immigrants. You know what I'm saying? I wish all humans the best, but God damn, bro. You know what I mean? I can, I, it's kind of hard when you see them getting 80, when you see $86 million going to ICE and you know, it's not even going to those kids. ICE is, ICE is a government organization. So technically they kind of just paying back them fucking selves. Also, definitely, are, am I seeing mind. this wrong? Am I, no, I no, you're right. But keep, keep in mind also, it's not like it's only kids coming. Like, I think that's another illusion that they're trying to wrap in is it's not like every person that comes from South America or Central America, right? That it's illegally immigrating here is also bringing their children. I yeah. bet you the vast minority that are coming are bringing their children. I bet you the vast majority are just coming for themselves. And it just seems odd that if they're knowingly entering the country illegally and breaking the law, that we would give more grace to them than when Americans knowingly break the law. That, that just seems a little bit odd to me. Yeah. And, and, and you know, they're kind of getting in the way of the people who are doing it the right way. You know what I'm saying? Who are trying to get in this country the right way. I read who this article. Who are they though? The Mexicans? Um, yeah. It's I mean, it's, Central it's the US Mexican, Mexico Guatemalan, border. El Salvadorian, yeah. like there's the Central American people who are trying to leave uh, oftentimes horrific conditions. Don't get me wrong. Like hey. I completely understand the reason for coming here, right? And I would love if we could create a more robust way to let these people come legally into the country, which yeah. they would absolutely take advantage of if they had the ability to. 100%. Um, it's difficult, though, because a lot of the people that need to come here because they're leaving these horrific conditions don't exactly have a fucking Apple laptop at home where they could pop onto the computer and sign up their immigration form. You know, they might not even have a fucking passport from their country. What you just said, Schultz, is, 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 what, what, is, is kind of what I'm talking about, right? It's like you said it's difficult. Clearly, there's no easy solution. Right to this U.S.-Mexico border policy. Barack right. Obama didn't get it right. Barack Obama deported more people than any goddamn president ever, right? Right. So he couldn't get it right. Trump didn't get it right. Joe Biden's not getting it right. Clearly, it's no easy solution. But depending on mm -hmm. who's in charge, the media will act like one is worse than the other. Right. I read this L.A. Times article, the headline, Biden promised change at the border. He's kept Trump's Title 42 policy to close it and cut off asylum. The Biden administration says the Trump era, era policy known as Title 42, which relies on 1944 public health statute to indefinitely close the border to non-essential travel, remains necessary to limit the spread of the coronavirus. But at the same time, Biden officials say migrants at the southern border still can seek protection in the United States, a right afforded to them under U.S. law. Now, there's this one expert of this article that I want to read real quick. When the Trump administration implemented Title 42, lawmakers, including then Senator Kamala Harris, called it an unconstitutional executive power grab that had no known precedent or clear legal rationale. But that's something that that's the policy that the Biden administration is currently using. Mm. I just can't deal with the liberal hypocrisy, man. That's just all. I can't deal with it. That's all. Both sides are fucking hypocrites, man. But I think what you're describing. I think what you're describing is why so many people gravitated to Trump and were willing to look past his uh, moral transgressions, right? They were so mm -hmm. furious and fed up with uh, maybe liberal media and liberal politicians, the hypocrisy of it, that anybody who was willing to call them out, they were going to side with. And I'm sure that there's the exact same response from people on the left who were so tired of the right wing politicians completely ignoring how the NRA was manipulating votes and making guns way too accessible to people who shouldn't have them. And I'm sure they were just furious with that side of politics. So they become maybe an uber left wing activist type person mm -hmm. or at least supporter. So yeah, what you're feeling is really fucking natural. You're allowed to feel it. And I think most people, if they're going to be honest with themselves, they're annoyed with seeing that like blatant hypocrisy while also morally grandstanding kind of it kind of sucks man absolutely I, I, really, I really think the people that actually is coming i think they just decoys the ones that are getting court and other ones that's going underground come on these mexicans really sleeping on them thinking they're gonna keep getting court they've been trying to do this shit for years they got all type of shit coming up. there's no way the people getting court supposed to get court decoys they end up back. that's interesting oh yeah 
Brilliant idiots jumped the shark. We got wax talking politics, baby. That's interesting, man. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> sleeping. Chris, are we getting this right? Are we just brilliant idiot in this right now? I think you're getting it generally right. I mean, look, there's no question that uh, Biden's policies don't look that much different from Trump's. And I think it's also right that, you know, Trump's policies were, you know, roundly attacked and you don't hear that same sort of noise coming. So I think the hip hypocrisy is uh, accurate. I do think you got to look at the bigger context of this, though, which is, you know, when we talk about, well, why do these people get the grace or why are they coming here? You got to understand the reason these countries are in horrific conditions is largely due to U.S. intervention in the 80s. Yeah, it's mm. a great point. There was a lot of... You know, there's something called liberation theology, and I won't get too deep into it, but it was basically like a kind of revolutionary movement through the Catholic Church, but was viewed by a lot of Republicans and Reagan specifically as having communist influences. And because of that, we came in very, very heavily via the CIA, particularly in into countries like El Salvador, uh, Guatemala, Honduras, and we kind of wrecked a lot of those countries. So even, what, 40 years later, mm -hmm. and I, you can't lay it all on the CIA because obviously there's a million things that's happening, but they really tore these countries apart and they backed a lot of really terrible right-wing juntas that in, in put all sorts of death squads into place and it got out of control and we haven't been able to reel it back in. And I think wow. if Biden is doing one thing, now he's saying whether he does it is another thing, but what he's saying is, Part of his policy is to try to work with places like Guatemala to improve the conditions there. Because, look, you know, and this is just my belief, people generally don't want to leave the countries they're born into, that they have generations in. It's their homeland. You're only really trying. Nobody wants to fucking put all their shit into one bag and crawl across a border in the middle of the night and risk getting killed or put into jail. Nobody wants to do that shit. I mean, you know. There's 1% of people who are hustlers and they think they're going to make it rich in the United States. Sure. But the vast majority of people who are doing this are doing it at gunpoint. They, they think they have no other choice. So if you can improve the conditions in these countries, I think most people, the vast majority of them stay put because who the hell wants to pack up and leave? Everybody, for the most part, wants so to So America needs to finish what it started in these other countries, like really give them the aid and the need. Now, how the hell do you do that 40 years later after you've had 40 years of civil war and corruption and cheating and murders and bad blood? I don't Can know. Can I say but something as me, an American? Yeah. As an American, a, a black American, that bothers me. And it bothers me because I know that my people here still haven't, gotten their just due. They haven't gotten their proper footing in this country. How can you go clean up a mess somewhere else when you haven't cleaned up the mess right here in America fully? Me. Uh -huh. It's a legit question, but the, you know, the fact of the matter is if immigration is a policy that we all care about and want to fix, if you, don't, if you don't fix it at the source, it's never going to stop. You have to figure out how to improve conditions in these countries and how the hell you do that. I don't know. But to me, that's that's the key to all of it. Or, yeah, like you want to improve conditions, but at the same time, you want to exploit cheap labor, not only here, but over there, the factories that are over there, et cetera. So, you know, people, I guess you could say American policy is kind of stuck. It's like if you turn Central America into first world countries, you can't exploit them. And right, a lot of people got to cut their own lawns in America true. now. Exactly. A lot of people got to be dishwashers in restaurants. Yeah. I not mean, only not only there, I'm talking about like the factories sure. for Gap. Like Gap wants to make his clothes cheap. So they have all these maquiladoras, they're called, and they're sure. right across the border. And it's like, oh, if there's a first world country, you're going to pay $15 an hour. Then all of a sudden, them clothing prices are going to skyrocket. And I think we got to be prepared to pay more. Um, and I, look, I'm in favor of, you know, goods that are produced in the USA. I'm willing to pay more for a sweatshirt or a sneaker or whatever. I, I have no yeah, problem Especially if that. it creates more jobs and they put those factories. We, we need factory yeah, jobs that's in this right. country. Put those factories in truth. poor and disenfranchised neighborhoods and, yeah. and cities. Yeah, I'm with that. Especially if but they We got to pay for it because people expect more money. I mean, I think, and again, it's not easy, but if there's one thing you can do, and this is especially true of Mexico to make these countries improve at the source, we got to end the drug bullshit. They got to legalize drugs all the way. Yes. 
because so much of what's <laughs> happening in terms of the violence in Mexico is all tied into the drug trade. And it's about America. It's about feeding the American drug habit. People like drugs. They like weed. Who's what? You just got to legalize it and, and, and dry that market up. Yeah. 